April 4th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 9 and 10 from the Old Testament. I will thank the Lord with all my heart. I will tell about all your amazing deeds. I will be happy and rejoice in you. I will sing praises to you, O Sovereign One. When my enemies turn back, they trip and are defeated before you, for you defended my just cause. From your throne you pronounced a just decision. You terrified the nations with your battle cry. You destroyed the wicked. You permanently wiped out all memory of them. The enemy cities have been reduced to permanent ruins. You destroyed their cities. All memory of the enemies has perished. But the Lord rules forever. He reigns in a just manner. He judges the world fairly. He makes just legal decisions for the nations. Consequently, the Lord provides safety for the oppressed. He provides safety in times of trouble. Your loyal followers trust in you. For you, Lord, do not abandon those who seek your help. Sing praises to the Lord who rules in Zion. Tell the nations what he has done. For the one who takes revenge against murderers took notice of the oppressed. He did not overlook their cry for help when they prayed. Have mercy on me, Lord. See how I am oppressed by those who hate me. O oh, one who can snatch me away from the gates of death. Then I will tell about all your praiseworthy acts. In the gates of daughter Zion I will rejoice because of your deliverance. The nations fell into the pit they had made. Their feet were caught in the net they had hidden. The Lord revealed himself. He accomplished justice. The wicked were ensnared by their own actions. Higayon Sila. The wicked are turned back and sent to Sheol. This is the destiny of all the nations that ignore God, for the needy are not permanently ignored. The hopes of the oppressed are not forever dashed. Rise up, Lord, don't let men be defiant. May the nations be judged in your presence. Terrify them, Lord. Let the nations know they are mere mortals. Sila. Why, Lord, do you stand far off? Why do you pay no attention during times of trouble? The wicked arrogantly chase the oppressed. The oppressed are trapped by the schemes the wicked have dreamed up. Yes, the wicked man boasts because he gets what he wants. The one who robs others curses and rejects the Lord. The wicked man is so arrogant he always thinks God won't hold me accountable. He doesn't care. He is secure at all times. He has no regard for your commands. He disdains all his enemies. He says to himself, I will never be upended because I experience no calamity. His mouth is full of curses and deceptive harmful words. His tongue injures and destroys. He waits in ambush near the villages. In hidden places he kills the innocent. His eyes look for some unfortunate victim. He lies in ambush in a hidden place like a lion in a thicket. He lies in ambush, waiting to catch the oppressed. He catches the oppressed by pulling in his net. His victims are crushed and beaten down. They are trapped in his sturdy nets. He says to himself, God overlooks it. He does not pay attention. He never notices. Rise up, Lord. O oh God, strike him down. Do not forget the oppressed. Why does the wicked man reject God? He says to himself, You will not hold me accountable. You have taken notice, for you always see the one who inflicts pain and suffering. The unfortunate victim entrusts his cause to you. You deliver the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked and evil man. Hold him accountable for his wicked deeds, which he thought you would not discover. The Lord rules forever. The nations are driven out of his land. Lord, you have heard the request of the oppressed. You make them feel secure because you listen to their prayer. You defend the fatherless and oppressed so that mere mortals may no longer terrorize them. God, today I am incredibly thankful that you are in charge. That it's not my responsibility to have vengeance upon others, um, to even hold anything against others. It's my responsibility to forgive them and then turn them over 
to your hands and if there's any justice that needs to happen if there's any punishment that needs to happen that you will inflict that um, you are a just God uh, and I know that to be true for me as well as the people that I think are my enemies or are enemies of you please help me remember God to pray for my enemies that whatever is happening in their life that is causing them to lash out this way or be angry or be hurtful or belittle other people, that it is coming from such a hurt place that they think it's okay to lash out this way. And for re me to remember them from a tender place, a kind place, a loving place, rather than one of instant response of anger and frustration and impatience, jealousy, God, please watch over them. Whatever has happened to them that causes them to be evil or wicked, disparaging to others, please help them through whatever it is that they're going through. Hold them accountable, and in the meantime, help them heal. Help them find their way to you, God. I know personally that the only way I can heal through any trial or tribulation, most of them caused by me, the only way I can get out of those is with you, God. So help them to rely on you. Help them to see the error of their ways of being this way, of inflicting pain and suffering on other people. God, and I just ask forgiveness for not only the people in my life who have done that to me and people I have loved, but I ask forgiveness for me as well that I have no doubt I have inflicted pain and suffering on other people and and for that, I am truly sorry. God, thank you for being a just God. Thank you for always making things right according to your will. In your son's name we pray. Amen.